It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Gunner Art family. Let's talk about how I feel backgrounds are a lot easier to learn than drawing anything organic, such as a human, for example. So backgrounds, they have a, a structure to them. They have a, a set of rules to them. You don't really have to use any, you know, no gesture, no, no, no intuitive skills, depending on what you're, you're doing. So if you're drawing a, uh, a building, there's a, there's this rule of the vanishing point. So you put a point within that vanishing line, and then you just use your ruler to uh, make sure that it aligns with that vanishing point. So that kind, that concept is very simple for drawing buildings, and it's really, you know, it is is easy to master. You know, you can, if you're a beginner or so, you may have, you may be able to master it in like a month or so. And of course, there are some rules to how how, how houses and buildings are constructed, and that's something that you can look into even further in your studies or so. However, when it comes to the organic body, the human body, the human body, there's a lot more complexity complexity within it. For example, there's, you know, proportions. There are different uh, proportions for different people. For example, we do follow the eight head model when it comes to proportions. However, that's, that's for adults. You know, toddlers and kids and, and teenagers, they have different proportions to look into. The reason why we do look at the eight head figure model is because that's an adult and it's more common to draw adults. So we tend to look at that eight head figure model for proportions. However, there's a lot more to it. There's gesture drawing and also there's uh, there's just bringing life to your drawing in general, which, which in turn comes into uh, gesture. And also there's there's anatomy, the anatomical correctness, uh, which part of the muscle attaches to which part, you know, and also drawing, drawing the human body from certain angles, from different angles, mastering that, mastering your, your feet, mastering your hands, each individual portion of the body. If I feel it takes a lot more to work with as opposed to just drawing backgrounds because backgrounds are so much more simpler because you have you just have to follow a certain uh, rule a certain standard and so that certain standard could be for example if you're doing a three point three point proportions you have a set of guides to help you with that two point or one point or or four point perspective all these perspectives have a type of guide you know and so a lot of people tend to use rulers and that's cool at the same time i feel backgrounds could really help beginners to understand perspective a lot more although you're using although people are using you know rulers and there are some cases where you don't have to use rulers for example if you're going if you're drawing a organic background such as a natural environment like nature or so in nature there isn't much there's a lot there's a lot of curvature there, there isn't a lot of straight lines so I feel it depends on what you're what you're going for. So when it comes to drawing backgrounds such as buildings or so, it's there's a there's a, a format to follow. And to come back with humans, uh, the artist also has to understand when it comes to drawing humans, uh, the this the wrinkles like the age of the character, how characters look, the facial features, learning how to make different hairstyles or so, like all that dives into drawing a a human and so that will be the video thank you guys for watching if you, how do you guys feel do you feel that backgrounds are a lot easier to learn do you feel that it's more difficult for you uh how how is your experience with uh with drawing humans versus drawing a background let's let's hear let's hear your voice comments below if you enjoyed the video Feel free to join the family by hitting the subscribe button and also hitting the, the bell button as well. And that'll be the video. Peace out.